Good morning. It's now 8.30 a.m. on this Tuesday, September 17th. I'm Chelsea Spears. And I'm Dan Martin. We are a little less than a week away from fall, but it is never too soon to start talking about Christmas, That's am I right? right? Of course, and a yearly event signals the start of the holiday season. It is the music event known as Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Now, you've probably heard of them before. <laughs> they are a multi-platinum, critically acclaimed progressive rock group, bringing their tour Christmas Eve and other stories back to Youngstown at the Cavelli Center on November 15th. So joining us now live are two members of the group, Al Petrelli and Kayla Reeves. Thanks for being with us this morning, guys. Well, good morning thanks and thanks for having us. Now, uh, if you could just let us know, if, in case somebody's not heard of TSO, which of course we have, but <laughs> uh, explain maybe what's a little different compared to any other type of orchestra or even rock show that they might see. Well, I think that what makes us stand out is that there's something for everybody when you come to see a Trans-Siberian Orchestra show. I mean, if you like musical theater, if you like rock and roll, if you like really big productions, there's really something that appeals to everyone. Bring the whole family. Mm -hmm. You can bring your mom, your dad, your <laughs> grandchild, you know. We just want to, we, we can't wait to see everybody this year in Young, Youngstown. It is a family-friendly event. Tell us what people can expect to see this time around, this year at your show. Wow. Well, we've changed everything up this year, and we're real excited. Um, musically, we're going back to Christmas Eve and Other Stories, which is the first record we'd ever recorded. And the first time we toured in 99 was the first show that we presented on the stage. We haven't played in about 10 years, so musically it's going to be a lot of fun to kind of re-listen re to those songs and be reintroduced to the characters in Paul O'Neill's story. But our crew... With, with technologies allowed our crew to do over the last 10 years, we will have the biggest, craziest, over-the-top show ever production-wise as well. So even though there's folks in your community who've been seeing us for the better part of 20, 21 years now, they've never seen anything like this before, I promise. And we're seeing some video there just now of, of what the show looks like with the, uh, the light show that happens throughout. Uh, so we know the performance is very cool visually and also to listen to. But you guys do some great work uh, with charity and in the community when it comes to some of the, the ticket sales uh, here. So tell us a little bit about those projects. Absolutely. Well, um, from the very beginning, Paul and the O'Neill family have always wanted to give back to the community and really make a difference in the world. So a dollar from each ticket sold is going to go back to a different local charity. And so when you come and see Trans-Siberian Orchestra, you are giving back to your own community. And that's what we have won wanted to do since day one. Exactly. And what is it about the Trans-Siberian Orchestra that just resonates with so many people? We know it's a time-honored tradition for many folks. What is it that you think really hits home for folks? I think everybody relates to the story. Uh, Paul O'Neill's story is very Frank Capra-esque in a lot of ways. If you take your circumstance or, or you know, your situation and insert it into what Paul's written, the entire evening becomes about you. At the end of the day, especially around Christmas, everybody misses somebody. Mm. You know, there's an empty chair at the dinner table. There's people you haven't spoken to for whatever the reason. Uh, everybody kind of takes that to heart and, and really enjoys the story on a different level because of that. That's fantastic. Now, once again, in case uh, you mm. missed it, that, those shows are going to be November 15th at Cavelli Center here in Youngstown. And uh, you guys play all over the country, all over the world. Um, why is it you want to come back to places like Youngstown, Ohio with this show? <clears throat> Ohio put us on the map. I mean, 21 years ago, I mean, th the first shows we ever did were in Ohio, and you guys are just nuts. <laughs> I mean, it's the craziest, most over-the-top <laughs> audience ever, so we just can't wait. <laughs> oh, well, we cannot right? wait. Yeah. We <laughs> can't <laughs> wait to have <laughs> you back as well to the Youngstown area. We are excited for Trans-Siberian Orchestra again, November 15th at Cavalli. Right. Thank you both so much for waking up early with us. Thanks, guys. No worries. Thank Thanks you. so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Tickets are on sale now, too. You can get that information uh, on our website as well. Right now.